Welcome back my YouTube friends and family or if you're new here, welcome. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. Today we have hopefully a mixed bag, a little bit of something for everyone. We have Staples hiring, we have Dick Sporting Goods hiring a digital reviewer for like fraud transactions and fraud systems. We have a Starbucks hiring. We have like document processing, payment processing. So we're gonna dive all in. If you're new here, we search the internet daily looking for the best work from home jobs and bring them to you on a daily basis. Links, timestamps, any additional information you might need to go read reviews, check out the pages that I'm sharing, put that application in, is always in the YouTube description box below this video. I always just ask that if you enjoy job leads that I share, let me know, give this video a thumbs up like button and you can always leave something in the comments. But not wasting anyone's time today, first up we have the company JJ Keller. They have 345 reviews from current and past employees, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.9 out of 5 stars. They are hiring a document processor. This is remote work from home within the United States, and they are looking for somebody to work Monday through Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you're outside of that time zone, you'll have to convert your hours to see if that works for you. Now, even though that's the work hours, they are gonna provide you paid training that is six weeks long. You do have to be available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time for that paid paid training. Pay for this position is going to be $17 an hour, but for working that second shift, they're going to give you an additional dollar an hour shift differential, making pay $18 an hour. But they are basically looking for somebody to audit and review driver qualification documents and drug and alcohol screening information for their clients. You're going to identify any discrepancies or errors, check systems for important information, and do data entry entering this information into the different computer systems. So you're really just working with client service specialists to obtain and validate all of their information, updating this information in the systems as needed. You're going to have to follow law like the Fair Credit Reporting Act, HIPAA guidelines, things like that. They don't require any kind of college degree, just a high school diploma or GED and one year of general office setting experience. Somebody who has experience in a high regula regulated industry, so somebody who's worked in something where you have to follow legal guidelines and laws. You do have to be great with attention to detail and have computer skills. Again, the $17 an hour pay, they do offer a standard benefit benefit package as well. Now, if you're a coffee lover like I am, maybe you want to work for a coffee company. Starbucks is hiring. They have 74,000 reviews, an overall rating of 3.6 out of 5 stars. They are looking for an HR shared services analyst for their partner contact center. This is going to be remote for the United States. Pay is anywhere from $23.37 an hour up to $39.66 an hour. This is going to require a lot of phone work. Even though you're working in human resources, you are going to be answering a high volume of complex inbound calls in a fast paced environment, just delivering that quality service and creating a positive positive partner experience. So you are going to apply your critical thinking and active listening skills to diagnose the caller's needs and determine the key details and document them in the computer system, communicating policies, processes, and provide information in response to a partner inquiries. So you will be given like documents to use and multiple computer systems to use that you can research and troubleshoot and provide issue resolution. You are basically going to be that call center person that that people call when they have human resource related issues. So even though it is human resources, it is going to be a call center because Starbucks has so many locations around the country and so many employees, they may have a human resources and somebody might be like, I'm calling HR and pick up the phone and call. So you are going to be answering those phone calls. So you'll have to be familiar with their HR policies and practices so that you know how to handle the employees that are calling in. Now they prefer a bachelor degree. It's not required though, as long as you have experience working in customer service or call center, somebody who has experience and can research, analyze, and be a problem solver. Somebody 
somebody who can work in a fast-paced environment and somebody who has experience coaching or leading others. On the other side of HR, though, when you're dealing with employees is a payroll. So Sutter Health is hiring someone to help process their payroll. They have 2,700 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.9 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a payroll processor. Now, please note this position is only available in certain states. Those are Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Illinois, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Montana, Nevada, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Utah. But if in, you're in one of those states, they are looking for somebody to just review, audit, and process their timekeeping records and expense reimbursement requests. So you'll calculate the pay integration for eligible individuals like on leave of absence. You'll upload the payment and data files and move employees in and out of paid time off accrual plans. You'll approve manual payments, calculate and process retroactive payments, pay adjustments, taxes, tax deposit, things like that. You're just handling all the processing and basically math calculations for the paycheck so that everything is calculated correctly and pay is paid on a correct basis with taxes being withheld and all of that. They only require a high school diploma or GED in two years of recent relevant experience. You do have to have knowledge of like payroll cycles, how payroll works, knowledge of laws for wages and hours. If they work so many hours do they have to clock out and take a lunch break or do they get a paid lunch break things like that laws for labor laws really vary state to state but you do have to have the ability to read comprehend and apply these policies procedures and practices to the payroll that you are processing so it is going to require a high attention to detail and someone who is highly organized now pay ranges depending on your location and experience but pay starts at $22.60 it looks like is on the lowest end and $40.95 an hour on the high end. Next up, we have Staples hiring. Staples has 14,000 reviews and overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.2 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a remote accounts receivable analyst. This is going to be for the United States and pay is going to be anywhere from $49,000 a year all the way up to $55,000 a year. Staples is looking for somebody to help their finance team maintain the SLAs for review orders that stop due to exceeding the credit limit. So you are going to work the email boxes for the SLAs for Cana, you're going to identify potential fraudulent orders escalating up to credit leadership to quickly and possibly mitigate any losses for staples. And so you'll collaborate with the customer service and sales teams to help minimize the exposure to staples for these fraud, just working with the best focus towards helping the customers continue their service. So you're really checking to see, did the customers who have this large credit limit and they've exceeded it, was that accidental? Did they really place the order and exceed their credit limit? Is their credit card or credit profile been hacked and some Someone else is just billing things up to their credit limit. Is it fraud? You're going to have to do a lot of research and answer these questions, trying to make sure that Staples doesn't lose money because, of course, if it is fraud, the customer who owns the credit limit is not responsible for paying that back. They do only require a high school diploma or GED, though, and two years of related work experience. They would like somebody who has one year experience using credit reporting agencies to review credit data somebody who has basic knowledge of computer systems like those Microsoft Office suites, great communication skills. Now, if you have like an associate's degree or advanced Microsoft Office skills, that might get you to the top of the line for an interview, but is not required. Speaking of being like in the finance field and reviewing things, making sure they're not fraudulent, Dick Sporting Goods is hiring. They have 11,000 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall rating of 3.7 out of 5 stars. 
They are hiring a digital loss prevention reviewer. Now, when I think of loss prevention, I always think of like those security guards that stand in stores and watching like the little security TVs to see if anyone is stealing. Loss prevention really means you're trying to make sure that the store does not lose money from theft or fraud. And so Dick's Sporting Goods is hiring somebody to do that on a digital level. You're going to be monitoring and reviewing a potential fraudulent activities, detection, risk mitigation strategies, just looking at all kinds of reports and data to analyze and identify high risk exposure and fraudulent activities and so that you can make recommendations for minimizing the losses to the company. So the basis of the job is just monitoring these automated fraud screening applications. So you're going to have computer applications that run data and screen fraud, and you're going to have to monitor those incoming data, maintaining and exceeding, exceeding the standards for timeliness and customer service, just resolving any complex issues with little to no supervision or direction. So you've really got to be a self starter with this one. You're going to do research to validate purchases and make sure those purchases were legal and not fraudulent. So you might have to pick up the phone, make outbound phone calls, do follow up research on transactions that you do feel were fraudulent. So you'll just be working with leadership to communicate any fraud trends, share best practices, and share your ideas and information on how to help. Now, they only require a high school diploma or GD and one to three years of experience either in e-commerce fraud prevention, loss prevention, or customer service. You do, however, have to have knowledge of fraud chargebacks, how credit card chargebacks work, understanding different network disputes types and things like that. Pay for this position though is very well. It starts at $40,700 a year and goes all the way up to $61,100 a year. $61,000 a year is like $1,173 a week. And of course, last but not least, we have the company Brighttree. Brighttree is part of ResMed. It is a healthcare company. They have 180 reviews with a 3.3 out of 5 star rating. They are looking for somebody to do quality assurance for their DME billing. DME is durable medical equipment which basically means you will perform quality reviews and edits to make sure adjustments, rebills, and refunds for the DME billing are completed accurately and according to the processes and procedures that have been established. So you're going to be doing this work and you will make recommendations for procedure changes and updates as you see fit, documenting everything for optimal performance. So you will have to communicate with different departments to identify any potential risk and solutions for performance improvement, just identifying any errors and deficiencies in the process through trends and analysis. So you're going to have to review the data and really have a strong attention to detail when you're just auditing and reviewing the adjustments, rebills, and refunds for quality. So you're making sure basically they were done per policy and correctly. This only requires a high school diploma or GED and two years of DME accounts receivable experience. Of course, great communication skills, someone who is highly organized, passionate about customer service, great problem solving skills, and someone who has a drive to be a self starter. Pay is dependent on location and experience as always, but ranges from $16 an hour all the way up to $24 an hour. All right, if you have made it to the end of this video, I owe you a huge thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. As always, feel free to leave anything you're looking for down in the comments. I can never make any promises, but I do keep an eye out when I'm searching for things I know people are looking for. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like button if you enjoyed anything that I share. Share with all your friends and family. And of course, I'll be back really, really soon with more work from home job leads just for you.